This female driver was shot and killed after Christmas. Uh, multiple such attacks in Chicago. Uh, my message to Chicago drivers, you don't have to put up with this, right? Just go out there, protest, shut down the airports and explain to the media that you do not feel safe driving out there uh, unless the companies actually follow up on some of their promises, right? Real ID, real pictures, no fake names. These thugs should not be in the back of our cars, should not be in the back of Chicago drivers' cars. It must be so nerve-wracking going out there daily in Chicago and some of these cities and switching the app on. Searching for answers and justice. 34-year-old rideshare driver Adriana Aroca Duque was shot and killed the day after Christmas. She was found mortally wounded in the driver's seat of her Tahoe with the 4800 block of West Thomas in Chicago's Austin neighborhood. NBC 5's VWEN has reaction tonight. Adriana Orocha Duque moved to Chicago three years ago and just one day after celebrating Christmas with her family, she would end up losing her life. I didn't imagine it, so it's something so horrible that I can't think about it clearly. Her nephew says their entire family coping with the loss and described her as a beautiful person inside and out. She was special, a strong working woman, very loving. She had many friends. Family says she was driving for a lift Tuesday night around 8.45 and was dropping off two passengers in the Austin neighborhood when something happened. Police say she was shot in the head and crashed her vehicle near Cicero Avenue and Thomas Street. Justice needs to be done because we understand that this is not the last person that has experienced this in the same area this month. Police say at least seven rideshare drivers were robbed in December. Seven. In several incidents, the victims were hit in the head with a gun. It's unclear if they're connected to her case. Definitely. This time it happened to her. Tomorrow it could happen to someone else. No, we don't want it to happen to anyone. Liv telling NBC5 in a statement, Our hearts are with her loved ones as they confront this unspeakable tragedy. We are in contact. Just listen to that. Listen to that reply. Our hearts are with Arocha's loved ones as they confront this unspeakable tragedy. Uh, David Risher, you absolute weakling, right? Um... All these things that you wanted to do, like abolish fake names, abolish uh, or at least r introduce real IDs, real photos and start separating the shit from the good. Right. You've done nothing. You have failed this family, David Risha, as a leader of Lyft. So unless these companies, ladies and gentlemen, and Lyft drivers do something about the issue, whether they cross reference uh, people against databases or whether they deny third parties, who knows? This might have been an individual using someone else's account, right? But Lyft can do more. They know they can do more. They don't want to spend the money. The in investors are guilty. The directors are guilty. The CEO is guilty of this, ladies and gentlemen. And it won't stop in Chicago and it won't stop in DC and it won't stop in LA or Houston unless the companies decide to do something about it. We're in 2024. We're holding up the mirror to you, right? Look in it well, David Risha. You're responsible. It's time to make the necessary changes. Law enforcement to assist with the investigation. Family says the 34-year-old was from Venezuela and immigrated to the state seeking asylum. She cared for her dog Hunter and was driving for Lyft to make extra money. And now they can't believe she's gone. We want justice and somehow the applications have to take action. Police say a witness told investigators they saw a man and woman running away from the victim's vehicle. Family says it was caught on camera, but so far no descriptions of the suspects. V1 NBC 5 News. Well, thank you for covering this. Thank you for the media always stepping in and sadly covering these stories. If we can do anything for the family, if we can set up a GoFundMe page, uh, my suggestion to the family is get a good attorney, file the lawsuit. I know you're not going to get your daughter back, but you got to start sending a strong message to these companies and get the big boys, the big uh, law firms involved and um, expose this type of uh, non-action, right? David Risha, you're not acting.
you're not you're not doing anything and it'll happen again sadly we're in 2024 within the next week i'll be making the video that's the sad part bring us the gofundme let's rally around this family and my heart goes out to you happy new year everyone